Hello everyone, JRDL96 here with a brand new unboxing. As you can tell by the title, it's another, well, it's kind of an interesting I, interesting thing because it's a another unboxing for two things when you think about it. WWE related and also MLB related. So the most unlikely crossover I never thought I would see. <laughs> WWE and MLB decided to partner up in a way since WWE Shop is, a, I guess, an affiliate of Fanatics, which is also under MLB, they decided to do a little celebr you know, celebratory you know, uh, crossover collab for, to celebrate Austin 316, March 16th, you know, at the time, 316 day. And the, the way they decided to do it was have t-shirts for all the MLB teams with 316 on it, like this. <laughs> and the when I first saw that, I was laughing my ass off because it made me think of if this Stone Cold Steve Austin was a fan of any of these teams. And when I saw the Mets one, I just started dying of laughter because I'm like, imagine Steve Austin is a fan of the Mets. Stone, I, I, I can't, and I can barely, I don't know if this is a great impression, impersonation of Stone Cold, but I... <laughs> I could just picture him saying, I've been drinking a bunch of Metweisers and which is filled with all of our all of our tears every time we choke every goddamn year. <laughs> it's just wait because and I the reason why I say that is because usually we start off so great and then cure the all star break and then we start going down the tubes. It makes me sick. I, again, I suck at that, so I apologize if, it's, if that is offensive to anyone, but I just found it pretty funny. So, because obviously the Mets are not really do, going so great even before the official season begins because we lost Edwin Diaz to a, an injury during the World Baseball Classic, as a lot of people like to call it, the exhibition game. But it's still meaningful. It still is. I could say you could say it's the equivalent of like the World Cup, but for baseball. You know what I mean? It's still meaningful in a way. You represent, you know, the you know your nationality in a way. You like Cuba or Puerto Rico or you know Japan, you know Italy, you know that type of stuff. So it, I think it's meaningful. But anyways, enough rambling. Here we are with this, so I decided to get this shirt just for the hell of it because I felt it was hysterical because I found it so funny. So, here we go. Again, <laughs> again, I'm not sure how they will do this season, the Mets, even without their, their you know, closer, Edwin Diaz. I'm not sure how they will do, but most likely, even without him, they probably will start off pretty good. And after the All-Star break, which prompts the Braves to steal the fucking division, which is what happened last year and the season prior to that. So it doesn't help. So here we are. Met three, Mets 316 says I just struck your ass out. <laughs> Oh my god, so Mets 316, Fanatics, MLB, and WWE, in probably the most <laughs> unlikely collabs I will ever see. Sadly, nothing on the back, but then again, what else could you put on the back of a shirt like this when it's supposed to be a collab for, like, you know, between, you know... So this is for from Fanatics, and it has a Fanatics tag on it, so this is interesting. This is a large, by the way, so I don't know. It's a nice shirt, and I just found it pretty hilarious, so I just had to get this shirt. <laughs> so anyways, let's try on the shirt now, shall we? So this is what the shirt looks like. Very nice. <laughs> and also kind of funny because it just, of all things, I could ever see, you know, a collab for... MLB and WWE and Stone Cold Steve Austin was the last thing I expected. <laughs> so I found this pretty funny. So I had to get this since I am a Mets fan. Yeah, I'm I'm the guy that loves hot messes like the Mets. So here I am cheering for the lovable losers, the Mets. <laughs> so.
All right, thumbnail done. That's really it on this unboxing. So this is the shirt we got. Matt 316 says, I just whipped your ass. <laughs> the New York Mets, the New York Yankees, the Chicago Cubs, the sign stealing Astros. <laughs> okay, I gotta stop. Pete Alonso going to the baseball classic representing the USA. What is he, some kind of Marine? John Cena was a Marine. I stunned his ass. What's John Cena doing now? He's opening a WrestleMania with some theory that happens to have my last name. Austin. <laughs> okay, I had to get that out because I remember seeing somebody do an impersonation of Steve Austin, which actually sounded really spot on. And he had to say that. He said that line, John Cena was a Marine. I stunned his ass. <laughs> so I, I found that so funny. But anyway, speaking of WrestleMania, since I am filming this on the 28th of March, and by the time you see this is will be the day, April 7th. The day I'm seeing the Super Mario Brothers movie. What? <laughs> um, I'm going to try to quickly, you know, predict what I think might happen. Since the last time I did an unboxing for WWE was back in January when I went over probably one of my, you know, probably one of the greatest storylines I've seen in WWE in over a couple of years, which is the Bloodline storyline. And the whole thing with Sami Zayn and my fears that it may cause the fans to turn on Cody Rhodes. But luckily, all those, you know, fears were greatly exaggerated. And it seems like Cody Rhodes is more over than ever before. And it just didn't deter Cody. So Cody is going in to face Roman Reigns for the undisputed Universal Championship, most likely in the main event of night two. But what? who do I think is going to win? Even though I would love to see Cody win and f complete that story and be the first in his family to win a world title, there's something about the idea, because I remember this vividly, around February, I saw a lot of people starting to turn a little bit on the idea of Cody winning at WrestleMania and no more, a little bit more to have in favor for Roman to win. Because at this point right now, Roman has held the title for over 900 days. And by around May, he will hit a thousand. Who was the last person to ever held, hold a title, a world championship for that long? Probably Hogan, if I honestly have to guess. Hogan, because Hogan held the title for four, over four years. So, yeah, I think Hogan is up there. Bruno San Martino held it for over, who holds the record for the most, for the longest reign ever in WWF, WWE history, with over 2,800 days as world champion. So, I see a lot of people saying, I guess Cody ha might need, has to win, but then it started to turn into like, but I would love to see Roman win. So he can go over to a thousand days. But again, I don't, I'm, it, this is getting to the point where I'm so indecisive about it. And honestly, I don't know what's going to happen. Because every time when I say this is probably going to be the end of Roman Reigns' reign of terror, you want to say? I always am always wrong, 100%. And I was wrong at WrestleMania 37. Wrong at WrestleMania 38. Ironically enough, and this is a funny story. And I remember waking up to this. After having, because I decided the night of WrestleMania night two of last year, I took a nap. I took a little random nap. And in that dream that I had, for some reason, I was given the outcome of, of the main event between Brock Lesnar and Roman Reigns. But in a different, different manner, for some reason in my dream, Seth Rollins cost Brock Lesnar to allow Roman Reigns to win the title. Now, obviously, I that did, did not happen at all because instead it was more or less Roman, you know, I guess playing a little dirty and, you know, hitting him with the title with the ref's back turn or when the ref was down. I don't remember. So, but I remember waking up and then looking on YouTube and seeing the results and seeing Roman Reigns holding both titles in his hand after his match. I'm like, God damn it. <laughs> and I just laughed because I'm like, my dream kind of predicted it in a way. It kind of predicted in a way saying Roman was going to win. But not in the way that I my dream played it out. So, 
I just found that funny. But overall, I guess you could say maybe... And now I won't be surprised if everything is ruled in Roman's favor. Again. Just for that whole moniker of him being the first guy since probably Hogan to have over a thousand days as world champion. You know? <sighs> Something tells me that that's probably what's going to happen. But... You never know at the end of the day. Anything can happen in WWE. Anything can happen. Even if the outcome could be predictable at times. Like how I predicted back in January that the Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn were going to tag team up at WrestleMania to face the Usos for the tag team titles. Now, I was kind of wrong about the whole Jey Uso turning on Sami thing. A little, it happens a little later in, in the story. Later on, in like a couple weeks afterwards... But I thought maybe it would be an idea of, like, it happens at Elimination Chamber. But, sadly, that didn't happen. So, I was kind of right and kind of wrong on a couple of aspects. But, overall, I was kind of, like, mostly spot on with that idea. But another match that I'm looking forward to, and the thing I wasn't anticipating this year, was Rey Mysterio going in the Hall of Fame. So, and now he's fighting his own son, Dominic, in a match. So that's going to be interesting. But I was surprised about the announcement for Rey Mysterio in the Hall of Fame because he's still technically an active competitor. So that's interesting. But uh, anyways, enough rambling. That's really it on this unboxing. And my next WWE related unboxing will be Rey Mysterio related. It's this, you know, Hall of Fame shirt that they put out for his, you know, Hall of Fame announcement. And uh, I don't know if I'm going to be doing this this is as well with the same video or if, it, if it's a separate video but i also bought on ebay two masks of Ray, two ray mysterio masks that this guy made on ebay i forgot the guy's name but again i'm not sure if i want to you know com, you know include that with the unboxing of my ray mysterio shirt but we'll see i don't know we'll we'll see you never know at the end of the day so anyways enough rambling Hope you guys enjoyed today's unboxing. Uh, hopefully, you know, WrestleMania 39, WrestleMania going Hollywood one, once again for the first time since 05 is a good one. But we'll see. Uh, that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe, share this video with your friends. Be sure to ring that bell to be part of the notification squad. Be sure to check out my Instagram because I make cool ads of Markiplier, Jack Stuff the Guy, and myself. I also do Nackers and Cosplays on there, so go check it out. And be sure, to be sure to check out my Tumblr and my Discord in the description as well. So until next time, JRD on 96 here. <laughs> okay, signing out and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.